Well, good day everyone. This will be Kahu's fourth session with the rug. Um, and it'll be the third one that I've got on camera. Good day everyone. I'm Zoe and this is Kahu. This is just a little reminder that I'm not a professional horse trainer, so anything you do see in my videos is only intended to be a guide. So with that said, let's get on with the video. So, just like before, I'm going to let him take a look at the rug and encourage him to interact and, in a sense, give me permission to sort of say, hey, what's this? Good boy! I want him to have a say in the matter as to what we do. That's not to say that he can't say no, he absolutely can. And then it's my job to find out why he says no when he does. Uh, Kahu's signs of him give me some form of acceptance. It can be anything from very obvious to him turning his head and having a good look and a good sniff at the rug in this case. Uh, or it can be much more subtle and just sort of about glances ahead or just about a twitch of his eye. And, and so part of the key here is to making sure that Kahu's relaxed with anything that we do is not just asking for his permission like I'm just like this thing doing here, but also while I'm doing stuff like this, is to also read his body language, is to see where his ears are, is his nose excessively flared, like he's highly stressed, is his eyes popping out of his head, does he have a droopy lip? Uh, looking at all these different cues will tell me how Kahu's feeling. And so right now you can see that his eyes are getting a little bit soft and droopy, his breathing has slowed down, his lower lip is quivering just a tiny bit, he lowered his head a little bit too. So these are all subtle cues that tell me that he's in a relaxed state of mind, he's not in the immediate flighty mode. And that's the association that I want with the rug so that he takes it as a, oh okay, it's just one of those things. It's not something that he needs to be stressed about. And there's a nice looking chew, good boy. And this is the sort of interaction that I'm looking for. I want him to feel comfortable and relax around new things go into a thinking state and thinking about it and processing things before going into that flight response that comes so naturally to horses. And so what Kahu's actually doing here, he's actually asking for, uh, for scratches there and since he's doing so well and I want to top up the bank account, I'm going to reward him with that scratch because he's a, a he's asked for it willingly in a situation that could be stressful to him and he's actually choosing to seek a relaxation point. So I'm gonna reward that and encourage him to find relaxation both with myself and the situation. Now the good news is, is that he's not too bothered with me sort of opening it out near him. He's pretty unfazed. He can see me in both eyes or more of his right eye. Excuse me, me turn his head and have a look. Good boy, and this is what I'm looking for. I definitely want him to be involved with the situation. Good boy. And of course, showing him this bit by bit also, it, um, it keeps him involved. And of course, showing it to him, whenever I change the shape of it, he can see it from a different angle because now this is a different object. To you and I, this is the exact same thing. But it comes down to the old, uh, how something appears. So if you've got a bucket that is uh, up the right way and then you've got the exact same bucket, not a different one, the exact same bucket but it is upside down, that is now a different bucket. And so, oh good, nice looking shoe, good boy. And if you've been watching my little rug training series to this point, thank you very much. And you'll see that Kahu's progress has really come a long way in literally just a couple of lessons uh, just by asking for his consent. So what I'm starting to do now here is extend 
where I'm touching him with the rug on each side. So instead of it just being on his side, I'm reaching over his back a little bit. So that's new. So Kahu's like, oh, that's not what we've been doing. I'm not sure. Just why he's moving is he's uncertain. And there's the release. He's having a nice little look at the shoe there. <laughs> and looking at the rug. That's excellent. So once again, with all the touches I'm doing on him, it's all rhythmical and it's consistent because the patterning idea, it doesn't overwhelm horses as much as if you were to literally rub them with it. Good. Now, of course, um, you've got to work at your horse's pace too. Kahu's always been fairly quick to pick up on what I'm asking of him and fairly relaxed about it. Of course, you've got to sort of tailor your training methods with your horses um, to their individual personalities and their needs. Some are more reactive than others. And others, like Kahu here, are, I guess you could say, almost worn broke. Uh, the video camera, unfortunately, just died three quarters through our session. So I've had to flip to my phone and hopefully you guys can still hear me and we can continue and finish our session. Now since Kahu showed great promise in accepting this being thrown over his back just now, uh, I thought I'd open it up just like this and see if he will be accepting of me sort of half doing it, but with it folded in half like it is now. So like what you would do to actually put it on them. Again, I'm doing this in a rhythmical fashion. Oh okay, so there was a little bit too much for him. So we'll come back, we'll let him take a look at it. No, okay, so Kaku's body language here, he's moving his body away from me and he's not allowing me to get to his side. So this is his way of telling me, no, I don't give you permission to do that. So here's where I need to probably take a step back, fold the rug back into something smaller, let him acknowledge that and give it another go with something that is much smaller. As while he was acceptant of it being much bigger and flopping over his back from his right side, he was a little more uncertain about it from his left, which as I previously explained, he is much more uncertain on his left right now. Like I said, we need to go back a step do the nice rhythmical thing again of touching him like this. Kahu basically told me that he wasn't ready for me to start throwing it over his back on this side. So we'll work on that. He's actually experimenting with his lip and taking it off. There's a nice looking shoe. Good boy. And so here I'm going to invite him to try again with the rug a little bit bigger. Good. Good. And I'll see how he goes with his confidence and see if he'll be open to trying to have it open like this, looking like I did his other side. Ooh, ooh. So I think rather than doing how I did it before, I'm going to do it a little differently. Okay. So it's a little bit more gradual rather than just a sudden sort of flop and we'll build him up to that sort of flick motion that a lot of us do when we put our rugs on our horses. So I think we will call the video here today. Uh, Kahu has done really well uh, for his fourth time with the rug and he's certainly progressed a lot since yesterday. So, and that was also his third session with it. So I'm going to reward Kahu here with lots of scratches and uh, until the next video guys, Kahu and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with what's going on in our world.